Come on, kids, let's run, let's rush. Grab a pencil, chalk, or brush. Now let's go and make some art. Draw and paint, come on, let's start. Color, texture, shapes, and lines. Making art of every kind. Let's have fun, let's have a party. Making art with our friends. Party! Hello, Artie. Artie. Hello, Artie. Hello, Artie. Are you in a good mood? Are you ready to create some art? <laughs> Welcome to Artie's show, little artists. Let's do a paint pouring project. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Okay, go and get some paints. Wow. Wow. A talented artist, I sure ain't. Where is Artie? He's probably getting paint. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what Artie is going to do today. Artie? Artie? Artie, should we start? Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. We're going to start by protecting your desk with some black plastic. You can use a trash bag. Ready. Do you have your letter? Yeah. And what letter is that, Artie? S. What's a word that begins with S? Um, hmm. Uh, oh, uh, sandwich. Sandwich? <laughs> yum, yum. You love a sandwich. Are you ready to make some art? Okay, let's mix some paint. We'll get a paper cup and let's start with some white paint. Always try and start with white paint first and then add colour to the white. Just squeeze a little bit into the bottom of the cup. Now let's add some green, a sort of pea green colour. Just a little bit, Artie. Squeeze a bit harder. Come on, Artie, you can be strong. Have you got it? Yay! Now use an old stick and give it a really good stir. Really, really mix it up, Artie. I love paint. Yes, Betty, we know you love paint. Keep stirring, Artie. Stir, 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 stir. Hmm, it's a little bit pale. Mikey, do you like it when Artie uses paint? Betty, you know Mikey prefers marker pens. Let's add a little bit more green to make it a stronger colour. Artie, was that you? <laughs> it was the paint. The paint made a funny sound. Now come on, let's stir it all up. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. You know, Artie, it looks a bit like pistachio ice cream. Yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum indeed. Now let's add some yellow. We're just going to keep adding little bits of yellow, little bits of green and experimenting until we get the colour we really like. Guess what time it is. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. Man, this is a great day. Am I ready to paint my ass? You can buy cardboard letters and numbers from the craft store. Or you can use the lid of a cardboard box or perhaps an old tin. Ask a grown-up for some help. Anything will work as long as your shape has sides so the paint can't fall out. Okay, one last stir. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. Speaking as a brush, you know I love paint. Yes, Betty, we know. Okay, Artie, let's start pouring our paint. Pour some in towards the bottom. Now lift up the letter and move it around so that the paint fills the whole bottom section. This is the most fun part. Just letting the paint fill all the little gaps. You know what, Artie? I think you should add a little bit more green paint. Just a drip. There we go. 
And now let's move the letter around again so that the paint pours into all the little gaps. Turn the S upside down. Isn't it funny that an S is still an S upside down? <laughs> Well, it's, it's not that funny, Artie. Okay, now it's time to pour in the lime green colour. Just like you did at the other end. Pour a nice amount in. And then tip the letter up so that the paint flows around and fills all the spaces. It's very relaxing watching the paint just drip and ooze all around the letter. This is fantastic! I can't believe he can do that! <laughs> well, you could do this as well, Mikey. This is a very easy type of art to do. You're really letting the paint do all the work for you. There's a couple of little white gaps right in the middle of the letter there, Artie. Just pour, that's right, and then maybe a little bit at the bottom. Just tip the letter so the paint just pours. Just one little bit. There we go. You've got the whole thing covered now. That looks fantastic. Wait, wait. Shape break. You really want a shape break. Okay, you can have one. Hello, little artists, and welcome to a shape break. My name's Louis, and I'm going to teach you today about this very interesting shape here. It's called a cylinder, or you might say a tube. Well, the cylinder has a circle at the top, as you see, a circle at the bottom, which is hidden in this example here, and then it's connected together, and it makes a complete cylinder, or tube. Now, there's lots of fun things that are this cylinder shape. For example, um, uh, soda cans, uh, a honey jar, or a jam jar, perhaps, coffee cup, um, toilet roll. Yeah. We all use them. We all use them. And, um, oh, my favourite birthday cake. A birthday cake is a cylinder shape. Yes, indeed. Hmm. What kind of birthday cake do you take to an elf's birthday party? A shortcake. <laughs> because, you see, elves are they're small, you see. If, anyway, uh, why wasn't the toilet paper stopped? Because it was on a roll. <laughs> because they're rolls, they're cylinders, you see. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, why is a drum a cylinder shape? Beats me. <laughs> Beats me. See? Beats me. Oh, Louis, your jokes never get any better. Are you ready to carry on? Yeah. Good. Let's get back to the art. Okay. Okay. I can feel the anticipation in the air. Oh, Artie, they're beautiful. Are they real flowers? No. Oh, I remember Artie got these from the craft store. These are silk fabric flowers. But you can use real flowers as well. Make sure you ask a grown-up to help you if you're going to pick some real flowers. So Artie is putting the flowers inside the letter on top of the wet paint. It's very important that the paint is still wet because the paint's going to dry and it's a little bit like glue. The paint will dry and hold the flowers in place. Oops, that one fell out there. Just push it back in with your finger. Make sure you put different coloured flowers next to each other and big flowers next to small flowers so that there's a real variety of shapes and sizes and colours. Wow, this is amazing! It's pretty amazing, Mikey. And this is really easy art to do. Remember, if you can't get letters, you can use the lid of an old shoebox or the lid of a tin. Anything that has a little lip or an edge around it so that the paint doesn't pour out. 
If you can't find flowers, you can actually use leaves from a tree that have fallen down on the ground, or different pieces of coloured paper that are all scrunched up. <laughs> Artie thinks I say scrunched funny. You don't need to fill the shape all the way with flowers. You could just do the bottom half or the top half. I have a feeling Artie's going to fill this S shape full of flowers. You're really taking all this in, Betty and Mikey. Just a few more flowers to complete the project. Man, look at all the colors. I think he's almost done. That looks so pretty, Artie. Oh, one last, one last pink flower. Is that it? That's complete. Finished. You're going to have to be very patient while all the paint dries. Didn't that turn out amazing, little artist? Was yeah. that fun? It was really fun. Could you hold it up for us, Artie? Yeah. Uh, oh, beautiful. Um, now, what's another word that begins with S? Uh, smile. That's right, yeah, smile. I, I like smile. <laughs> what do you think, Mikey oh, and Betty? That looks beautiful, Artie. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Okay, Artie, yeah. it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.